Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, subscribe because I post a new video every single week. So in the summer, I did a video where I recreated summer Pinterest hairstyles and it was a really fun video to do so I wanted to do another one for winter and it was kind of hard to find more simple hairstyles that I could recreate that are not too simple but also not too crazy but I did find seven hairstyles that I want to recreate so keep on watching for those. Okay, so this first hairstyle is just like a big braid that's on the side of her head and then it goes into a lower bun. The hairstyle is not messy, but it's not too slick back. It's kind of like in between and it does look like a relatively simple and easy hairstyle to do if you have a lot of hair. Me, I do have a lot of hair, but like I have a lot of baby hairs also. So like if I try to do a braid here, sometimes it doesn't really work out because I don't have that much hair. So we're going to try and see how well this goes. I have my little elastics right here and my brush and yeah, we're just gonna get to the first hairstyle Okay, so the braid is not tight at all. So I'm not gonna try too hard I'm just going to do a simple French braid The great thing about this hairstyle is that you don't have to worry about grabbing too much hair Because you know when you do a hairstyle and you're like, oh, I don't want to grab too much hair because then I'm gonna look bald In this hairstyle, your hair is all gonna be in a bun anyway So like it doesn't really matter how much hair you get you can honestly grab like half of your hair and it wouldn't matter Okay, so I'm going to tie that Okay, so that's what it's looking like so far. And I'm just gonna pull my braid just to fluff it out a little bit. Hopefully make it look a little bigger like the picture does. So now I have my hair tie. I'm just going to gather all my hair and then just kind of roll it into a bun. Okay, so clearly I was able to do it, but it is not like messy like how the picture looks. So I'm just gonna grab out some baby hairs, make it a little messier, take out my little bangs like that. All right, there you go. Now it's looking a little messier. A little cuter looks more effortless we're just gonna grab out some hairs from the bun too okay so there you go that is the first hairstyle it was pretty easy to do but it was hard for me to do the bun but honestly that's only because I'm not that good at doing buns I think I tried too hard so I don't know how to get the effortless look but I think I did pretty good on this one it looks cute I don't know what it looks like from the back but you guys can let me know hopefully it doesn't look too bad but yeah let's move on to the next hairstyle Okay, moving on to this hairstyle. I know that my hair is still long, long enough to do this hairstyle, but I did just recently cut it, so it's gonna feel weird putting my hair up in a high ponytail and not having like this long braid come down when I do this hairstyle. So I'm not expecting the braid to be long at all, especially not as long as hers, but I still wanted to try this hairstyle because it looks super cute, so I'm gonna try it. All right, step one. Gotta put all our hair into the highest ponytail ever. Make sure it's smooth all around by getting that brush. I think mean, that's pretty good. Okay, so now we're gonna tie it with the hair tie. And then now all I have to do is just put it into a braid. the elastic and then we're just gonna fluff it out like we did with the last braid always fluff out your braids makes your hair look a lot thicker and that is it it's very very easy to do this hairstyle and honestly it's super cute I think I love it more than when I did it when I had my long hair I think it looks cuter with my shorter hair like it kind of looks a little more put together more chic I don't know. I really love it. It's so cute. I didn't even pull out any baby hairs. I mean, like, these naturally just, like, fell out when I was doing my ponytail. But, like, I like it how it looks, like, clean but not too clean. And that's how the picture shows it anyway. But, yeah, it's super cute and I love it. I already said that, but that's how much I like it. Let's move on to the next hairstyle. 
Okay, this next one, I'm so excited to try it out because it looks so cute. I love how it's just a little fluff at the top and it gives the hair some volume. Of course, her hair is curled and mine isn't, so mine won't look as fluffy and cute as hers, but I'm gonna try my best to make it look as accurate as possible. But yeah, I think it looks really cute. I just have a lot of trouble with doing half up, half down looks. I personally don't like how they look on me because I look bald and my security blanket is basically basically my baby hairs and my little bangs in the front so doing a hairstyle like this I can't really like pull them out but we're gonna try it okay so this isn't like a half up half down where like the hair just like is inelastic and it goes down like this she literally has it puffed up to where it's parting in the middle Okay, that's a good starting point because at least it's standing up. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the ponytail right in the middle, the center, part my hair like this in half, and then just like pull down. Okay, hold on. Ow, oh my God, this is gonna be hard to take out. Okay, pull it down. I guess that looks like hers, but like how come she doesn't have like a gap like this? Okay, maybe I'm pulling it up high too much. Let me pull it back. Like, I'll grab the back pieces like this and then just, like, pull. Oh, okay. That worked. Ooh! Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my god, it's so cute. I feel like Maddie or Cassie from Euphoria. This looks so cute. Let me know if you guys want that to be a YouTube video where I do Euphoria hairstyles. I feel like that would be really fun. But yeah, anyway, I really, really like this. And honestly, I think I would prefer it like this instead of with my hair curled because it looks so classy and it doesn't make me look bald at all. And I think that's because the hair is like sticking up up here instead of just like falling down. Anyway, I'm getting too obsessed with this hairstyle. I feel like I just need to move on to the next one. All right, here we have the classic half up, half down look. It's not really half up, but like it's little twisted pieces of hair that goes in the back of your head tied into a ponytail and then it's just to give you the look where I guess your hair is out of your face in the front and then it looks cute and put together in the back. Also, I think this is going to be pretty hard because of my bangs, but because I'm supposed to twist the hair, I don't think it'll be that bad. I'm pretty sure my hair won't stick out. Okay, so I'm twisting the hair and then I'm going to twist the other side and put this piece in my mouth because I don't know where to put it so it doesn't untwist. See, look, my bangs are just like sticking out. Okay, I have my two twisted pieces and then I just move it to the back and then just tie it. Okay, so I have mixed feelings about this hairstyle. I do think it looks really cute, like first glance. I love it, it could look really good with outfits and it makes my face look clean, but I can't pinpoint exactly what I don't like about it. I think it's just the fact that my baby hairs are not like I'm not able to use them. Like I could definitely like pull something out. Like maybe that makes me like this hairstyle better, but I don't know. I think I just don't like, like, I don't know. But I do think it looks cute. Like I just wouldn't go out in this hairstyle. Also, I wouldn't feel safe with this just like being able to, you know. But yeah, let me know if you like it. Let me know if you don't like it, but I'm kind of like torn in the middle for this one. Okay, next we have this hairstyle, and now that I think about it, I think all the hairstyles that I chose require me to move my hair out of my face. So yeah, I thought that was pretty funny, but this one does look like it'll give me more volume, judging from the other hairstyle I did where I had to like kind of fluff it out at the top. I really liked how that looked, and it looks like these braids, you kind of have to do the same thing, but I'm just worried that the braids are not gonna make me look like I have any volume. Like, I feel like they're just gonna be there. They're just gonna be like laying on top of my head but I'll try my best to make it look like it has more volume okay so first I'm grabbing some hair on this side and we want it to be a lot of hair like enough to do a braid with and fluff it out but not too much to the point where I don't have that much hair at the bottom I think that's a good amount mm -hmm. 
Okay, when I said I was worried about volume, maybe not too much anymore, but I'm sure it'll go down with the braids. Let's just fix that later. Let's focus on getting the ponytails first. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get this little scrunching thing right before I actually start the braids because I don't wanna be worrying about that after I do the braids. I feel like it'll mess them up. So I'm just gonna tighten them up down. And then as I learned from the last hairstyle, you're gonna grab the, the hair from the behind and that's the part you're gonna scrunch up. There you go. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing. Tighten it, grab the back pieces and tighten that part. All right, time for the braids. And then she actually doesn't have her braid going all the way to the bottom, so I'm just gonna stop right here just to give it that little piece at the end. You see what I mean when I said that it's just literally gonna lay there? We'll fluff it out later, but yeah, this, this literally just looks like a rat's tail. <laughs> It's weird because when I'm looking at the picture, I notice that her braid isn't even fluffed out. So I don't know how she made it look so cute because I always feel like I have to fluff out my braids for them to look cute. Mm. Okay, yeah, I don't like it on me. She, for some reason, looks really good. I just look like crazy. I look like I belong in Whoseville. But I think the idea of it is cute. Like, I feel like if I practice this hairstyle more, I'd be able to make it look better. It does look cool if I was like going to a festival or something or like a concert. I feel like that would look really cute with some glitter and like an outfit that's like super extra. Like I feel like that would fit into that but just for like an everyday hairstyle wear I can't see myself wearing this. Um, I don't think I look bad. I think I just look crazy. Let's move on to the next hairstyle. I don't think I've ever attempted at doing low buns. Okay, Maybe I have like attempted like low buns, but I don't think I've attempted like spiky, messy low buns. This one is out of my comfort zone because I don't usually do hairstyles like this, especially with buns, two buns actually, and then like the whole spiky, messy look. Okay, I'm not parting like perfectly right now because it is a messy look, so I don't think the parting really matters. These pieces of hair that used to be my bangs. We're gonna take them out. I'm gonna grab all the hair. Wait, I don't even know how to do spiky buns. And then just like fluff it up at the top. I have no idea what the heck I just did, but like it kind of worked. So we're just doing the same thing. We're gathering all the hair. So what I did was I did like a regular ponytail for the first one. For my second one, I only went half. I grabbed the hair like this, and then I did a ponytail like that, but I grabbed both pieces, which made me do that. This one just looks like a low, a regular low bun, and this one looks more put together, so I'm gonna redo this side. How did I do that? It looks so good. And then look at this side. What the heck? I'm doing it again. Did I do it? No, I did not. Ugh. Why does it keep doing that? Why does it keep looking like that? How did I do this? What's going on? So I started to get frustrated because I couldn't make this side look like this side. And I decided to just take this side off I'm just gonna do a normal ponytail like that and then just do a normal bun like that. We're gonna leave it, do the other side exactly the same and then we're just gonna do a bun like that. Okay, they are similar, that's all that matters. We do have these little pieces in the back that I want to like spread out like this and then on this side do the same thing, just like spread it around like that. Maybe it's because my hair is too long. Like I feel like this would look 
great or it would work great for people with short hair because i feel like my hair is just way too long for this okay mm -hmm. cute all right so i guess this is the finished look also my camera is about to die so that's great but i think it looks again very crazy just like the other hairstyle did where i kind of just look cuckoo i don't look trendy or stylish i think it kind of looks cute like for a music video or something something funky anyway let's move on to the last hairstyle All right, this is the last hairstyle for the video. My hair is starting to look a little frizzy from all the brushing out I've been doing. This is more of like a slick back bun kind of look. It's not a low bun, but it's not a high bun. It's just like in the middle. And I would say that this is the most common hairstyle that I see in the winter. Usually people wear their hair slick back and they wear a blazer over, a leather jacket, or like a puffer jacket. I'm not really into buns. I already said that. I know I already said that, but just reminding you that buns are not my, like I'm not good at them. As you can see from the last hairstyle, there's no baby hairs that are out. Everything is just like slick back. So I might look like an egg, but it's worth it shot okay so we're just getting all the hair and the hair is parted in the middle so we do need to keep the part there this is gonna be hard because I do have like these little tiny bangs right here I'm trying to keep them up Okay, here's what the ponytail looks like. I think it looks pretty good. I do look like an egg. So I'm just gonna do a regular twisty bun like this. Okay, that's it. That's the whole hairstyle. Um, it kind of looks like I'm just going to ballet class. Well, it looks like either I'm going to ballet class or I'm going to like work. Like I'm going to an interview. I mean, it does look cute, but it looks too fancy for me. I'm really tempted to take out some baby hairs, but I'm not gonna do that. The whole point of me doing this video is to get out of my comfort zone and try new hairstyles that like I haven't really tried before. So, that's why I'm not going to take out my baby hairs. Really cool outfit. I feel like that would make this hairstyle look good. But other than that, I just feel like an egg. Alright guys, so that was me recreating seven winter Pinterest hairstyles. Let me know if you guys want me to do that euphoria hairstyle video. I feel like that would be really fun. But yeah, I do love doing these types of videos. Even though I do a lot of fashion videos where I try on a bunch of clothes, do a bunch of outfits and challenges and all that. I do enjoy doing the makeup ones and the hair ones. Because I'm not that good at hair or makeup, so it's like fun to try out some things. So I will definitely try to do more of these types of videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!